Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So we continue our applications of uh, concepts of uh, variable area ducts, uh, shock waves, expansion waves uh, in uh, problems. Uh, so here we take uh, uh, simple problems not uh, too many variety of concepts are used. Uh, so a nozzle in a wind tunnel gives it a section Mach number of 2 air enters the nozzle from a large reservoir at 0 0.69 bar and 310 kelvin. Cross sectional area of the throat is uh, 1000 centimeter square. Determine following quantities for wind tunnel under one dimensional isentropic flow con consideration that is quasi 1D flow. Mm. Pressure, temperature, velocity at throat, pressure, temperature, velocity and area of cross section uh, at the test section and mass flow rate. So, uh, this is direct application of varying area duct uh, principles. Uh, so, uh, what is known is uh, throat area is given. So, this is a nozzle problem. So, you have a nozzle and uh, exit Mach number is given. So, Mach number is 2.0 and uh, uh, that is also known that 0 0.69 bar and 310 Kelvin are P0 and T0 uh, and area at throat is known. So, A T is 1000 centimeter square. So, uh, let us see how to uh, go about this problem. Pressure, temperature and velocity at throat. Now, for this um, at throat uh, at operating conditions for a supersonic nozzle. Uh, throat Mach number is 1. So, a Mach number is 1. So, P star by P naught and T star by T naught are the values to consider and this is uh, 0 0.528 and this is 0 0.834. Okay. So, these values you can get from isentropic uh, tables or calculators. So, then uh, pressure at throat is just multiplication by uh, P naught which is 0 0.69. So, this is 0 0.365 bar and uh, T throat is uh, 258 Kelvin. So, we get 258 Kelvin here okay. and uh, uh, from this uh, we can also calculate uh, what is the velocity at the throat. Velocity at throat is equal to A star that is speed of sound Mach number is 1 square root of uh, gamma RT 1.4 288 258 okay, multiplication this is uh, 323 meters per second. Okay. Uh, this is the uh, value. Uh, now, uh, we go to uh, what should be the uh, pressure uh, temperature velocity at uh, um, the exit. So, it is an isentropic flow completely an isentropic flow Mach number is 2 at the exit. So, M E is 2.0. So, P E uh, by P naught. So, P E by P naught is 0 0.128 T E by T naught is 0 0.55 and since we need to find the area of cross section, we need to know A by A star. This is for Mach 2, it is 1.687. So, uh, pressure at the exit is 0 0.0885 bar, temperature at the exit is uh, 172 Kelvin, and the area is. Uh, 1.687 multiplied by 1000 1687 
uh, centimeter square. So, what is uh, the mass flow rate? Mass flow rate it can be calculated at throat uh, rho t uh, v t uh, a t uh, all things are calculated here. Density at thro throat can be calculated by p t by r t t it is uh, 0 0.49 um, kilogram per meter cube and V t is known 323 and A t is uh, known 1000 centimeter square. So, that is uh, 0 0.1 meter square. So, this turns out to be 15.827 kilogram per second. So, here in this problem uh, directly we are using uh, a variable area duct principles, uh, mass flow rate principles and uh, isentropic flow through variable area duct. So, this is a straight uh, numerical example. Uh, second one is uh, an under expanded two dimensional supersonic nozzle. So, here we have an under expanded jet. Uh, so, an under expanded flow in under expanded nozzle flow, uh, the uh, nozzle pressure at the exit. So, P exit at the nozzle will be greater than the ambient pressure P A if it is ambient pressure, uh, then uh, P exit will be greater than ambient pressure. So, there is still uh, 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 pressure left for expansion. So, as a result uh, the nozzle under uh, the flow undergoes an expansion through a uh, centered expansion fan. Mm, if we take the, mm, so if we take that uh, quasi 1 D flow through nozzle at the exit you will have a uniform flow and uh, thereafter you can take a centered expansion fan and the uh, nozzle uh, the flow will expand. So, flow will turn across the uh, centered expansion fan. So, if you zoom out zoom into this, so it will be like this. So, here we use principles not only of uh, quasi 1D nozzle flows, uh, we also use uh, expansion wave principles um, here. So, uh, what is given exhaust into a region where uh, pressure is 0 0.75. So, here pressure is 0 0.75 atmospheres that means at the edge here also it should be 0 0.75 atmosphere. Uh, but at the nozzle exit plane at P E at exit at the section exit pressure is 1.6 atmospheres 1.6 atmosphere. So, clearly it is a case of an expansion uh, under expansion and Mach number is 2. So, within the nozzle the flow is quasi 1 D it is uniform. Uh, but outside the nozzle it will now expand. Um, so, uh, calculate Mach number and flow direction after the initial. So, this expansion happens. So, what is the Mach number here after the expansion and the flow direction. So, it has now expanded it flows outward. So, what is that direction? Uh, we know pressure ratio, uh, pressure ratio is known. So, if I take this as region 2 and region 1, uh, P 2 by P 1 is given. P 2 by P 1 is 0 0.75 by 1.6 atmospheres. This is given to us. Okay. Uh, so, uh, how do we go about this problem? Uh, flow through the uh, mm, nozzle is uh, flow through the uh, nozzle as well as the expansion uh, centered expansion is uh, isentropic. So, it you use isentropic uh, relations. Uh, uh, if exit pressure is uh, 1.6 atmosphere, then uh, um, the corresponding P naught for M 2 operation we can find this out because P 1 by P naught is 0 0.1278 for Mach number equal to 2. So, P naught is 12.52 uh, atmospheres and this P naught remains the same um, across the centered expansion also. So, P naught 2 is equal to P naught 1. So, P 1 uh, P 2 by P naught 2 is uh, 0 0.75 by 12.52 is uh, 0 0.06. 
so here you get Mach number at 2 is 2.48 so now we have found out the uh, Mach number at uh, 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 0.2 so now we need to know what is uh, change in the angle theta theta is from parental mayor e expansion relations nu2 nu of m2 minus nu of m1 where nu is the parental mayor angle and parental mayor angle you can read out from tables or you can use a calculator 38.651 minus 26.37 degrees which is 12.281 degrees so uh, you have used two concepts here one is a quasi 1d flow in the nozzle and then uh, an under expanded jet and in the initial expansion you used uh, Prandtl Mayer uh, expansion relations so uh, connected concepts being used here okay so in the next uh, problem mm, a normal shock occurs in the divergent section of the convergent divergent nozzle uh, throat area is one third of the exit area and static pressure at the exit is 0.4 times that of total pressure at inlet flow throughout is isentropic except through the shock determine B Mach numbers before and after the shock area of cross section of nozzle at the section um, uh, where the normal shock occurs static pressure uh, before the shock so um, what is given let us see uh, this is a uh, nozzle and uh, area ratio of this nozzle is given exit area and throat area 80 a e by 80 is uh, 1 by uh, 1 a e by 80 is 3 so that is a e by 80 is 3 and uh, somewhere here no, uh, one shock occurs and the p exit to p01 p exit by p01 is uh, 0 0.4 so this is given how do we go about this uh, problem so uh, this uses concepts of shock in uh, divergent uh, passage so what we know is so if i uh, name these as uh, one station number one two three four so this is what i would say so what we are given here is a4 by a1 is uh, 3 it's given a4 by a1 is 3 and what is uh, a4 by a star in this particular case it will be a4 by a1 is equal to a4 by a3 star so a4 by a3 star because there is a normal shock here okay uh, multiplied by um, a3 star so uh, a4 star uh, or a3 star by a2 star so a, a3 star by a2 star so uh, a2 star will be equal to a1 because uh, this is a supersonic flow here Mach number is 1 and here uh, all through this region a2 star will be equal to a1 star or a1 equal to a t but a3 star will not be equal to a2 because there is a, a stagnation pressure uh, loss across this uh, shock okay so this is the principle we use so now uh, what is the guiding principle here uh, uh, this a3 star by a2 star uh, a3 star by a2 star are related a3 star p03 a3 star is p02 a2 star uh, so a3 star by a2 star is p02 by p03 so this is a4 by a3 star multiplied by p02 by p03 so if we can find out what is p02 by p03 then we can uh, find uh, what is the Mach number uh, but this is a4 by a1 so this is equal to uh, 3 okay now uh, what is given about uh, uh, p02 by uh, 
P01. So now P03 by P02. P03 by P02 is A4 by A3 star multiplied by 1 by 3. Okay. Uh, this is uh, known. Now, um, we know P0, uh, P4 by P01 is given. So, P4 by P01 is given. Can be written as P4 by P04. Okay, multiplied by um, P01 is constant all through until the point uh, two. Okay, so P4 by uh, P04 um, is uh, so this is known. P01 is known. So P03 by P02 can we write it in terms of P4 by uh, P04? Uh, this is what needs to be understood. P03 is the same as P04. So P03 is equal to P04. P03 by P02 I can write it as P04 uh, divided by um, P4. Okay and uh, multiplied by P4 by P01. Yes, so we can uh, give this value uh, because P02 is equal to P01 and this is equal to P04. Yes, so we can uh, because P4 by P01 is given uh, this is equal to 0 0.4. Okay. So, now we get uh, an equation uh, P04 by P4 multiplied by 0 0.4 is equal to uh, a4 by a4 by a3 star multiplied by 1 point 1 by 3 now this can be expressed only in terms of mac number m4 this can be also expressed only in terms of the mac number okay so this can be expressed um, so we can write this as 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m4 square the whole power gamma by gamma minus 1 multiplied by 0.4 is 1 by m4 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m4 square gamma plus 1 by 2 or gamma plus 1 by 2 gamma minus 1 multiplied by 1 by 3. So, this you can solve for m4 and m4 can uh, turns out to be 0 0.4718. Okay. So, now if we know uh, this value then uh, p04 by p4 is known it is 1.1646. Therefore, p03 by p02 can be found out. 0 0.4658. Okay, now once P03 by P02 is known, then Mach number is known. So, uh, the Mach number of the shock uh, is 2.58. So, M2 is 2.58 and uh, M3 is uh, 0.5056. Now we know 2.58, so uh, this is the case. Uh, Mach number equal to one here at section two. Mach number is 2.58, and there is a shock there. And then you have section three and four. Okay. Uh, so uh, if you know 2.58, you know the area ratio. So area ratio is A2 by A2 star is. 2.842. So, this is the area ratio at which uh, the shock occurs. So, uh, this uh, example is a nice uh, example where uh, connected concepts are given about uh, shock waves in divergent ducts and uh, pressure ratio across the nozzle which creates that shock and you had to find the area ratio and Mach number at which the shock is uh, located and uh, so uh, with this uh, these simple problems involved uh, 
uh, direct concepts of uh, uh, area ratios. Now, uh, let us see when this kind of concepts are applied into uh, multiple uh, examples or cases where you need multiple concepts or you want to apply it in some uh, situations then uh, how will we apply these uh, principles in the next class.